viewers welcome back to my channel my name is prachi sharma and in today's session we are working on the important questions of the chapter periodic table a mind map is already available on the on the channel for this particular chapter and today we are working on the important questions which were seen in the past board examination so let's get started all right students so i hope the screen is clearly visible to you so let's get started with the important questions this is similar to the usual important questions that we discussed that i am won't be writing any answers on the screen it would be more like a discussion and if you have any doubts about any particular question you can definitely reach out to me either in the comment box or you can uh, reach out to me on the telegram channel you can also write me an email on psclassesicsc@gmail.com so let's get started with the first question the first question says that choose the correct answer from the options given below the first is an element in period 3 whose electron affinity is 0 so electron affinity is the ability to add an electron so how much energy is released when you are adding an electron now if somebody is or if some element has electron affinity as 0 that means the outermost octet is complete so for from these options if you look at that you have argon as an option from the inert gas section so that means the answer would be argon that is option number d let's move ahead to the next question an alkali earth metal so you have potassium calcium lead copper so you need to understand which ones are alkali earth metals you need to have clear understanding of the periodic table and you should be able to identify the number of periods and the number of groups and what are the elements lying within them so th for this particular question your answer would be b that is calcium let's move ahead the next question is among the period 2 elements the elements which has high affinity is which one so high affinity again the one in which you add an electron and a high amount of energy is released so in this particular case if you look at the options your answer will be d chlorine let's move ahead to the next question give reasons for the following ionization potential of the element increases across a period so ionization potential increases across a period why think about it why would that increase because the nuclear charge increases and as the nuclear charge increase so your charge increase nuclear charge means the charge on the nucleus as the charge on your nucleus increases your atomic size decreases that means the nucleus tries to pull all the electrons toward itself so therefore your ionization increases across the period because your atomic size decreases okay students what will you write in the exam now a lot of uh, students reach out to me how, what are the keywords for this particular answer so your keywords will be that your um, uh, atomic size decreases across a period and why is that because nuclear charge increases across a period so how will you write it nuclear size increases nuclear charge increases are going across a period therefore atomic size decreases and hence our ionization potential increases across a period let's move to the next question alkali metals are good reducing agents so why are they good reducing agents because they easily lose or donate electrons okay so what will you say that they have one electron in the outermost shell and hence it is easy for them to lose or donate electrons let's move to the next one name a metal present in group 3 Oh, sorry period 3 group 1 of the periodic table so period uh, period 3 and then group 1 you can pick up the metal so which one that would be that would be sodium now next is arrange the following as per the instructions given in the brackets so increasing order of the metallic character now what is metallic character metallic character is a tendency to lose electrons so you can understand it that way so a metallic character will increase if the tendency to lose electron is higher so you have to number them in the increasing order so i'm going to write this particular answer for you so for the first case your answer will be lithium sodium potassium rubidium and cesium then the next is magnesium chlorine sodium 
sulfur silicon decreasing order of atomic size atomic size has to decrease students and you have to write that in the decreasing order so if you do that that would be sodium magnesium silicon sulfur chlorine let's move to the next one sodium potassium chlorine uh, sulfur and silicon you have the same ones let me confirm if that yeah that's correct so you need decreasing order of ionization energy decreasing order of ionization energy and that would be sodium oh uh, sorry potassium sodium silicon sulfur and chlorine now let's move to the fourth one so you have chlorine fluorine bromine iodine increasing order of electron affinity that is the ability to accept an electron so that would be iodine bromine fluorine and chlorine let's move to the next question why the oxidizing power of elements increases on moving from left to right along a period in the periodic table uh, so they are talking about the oxidizing power so oxidizing power directly depends upon electronegativity and non metallic character so if your electronegativity and non metallic character increases from left to right therefore your oxidizing power also increases from left to right let's move to the next one choose the most appropriate answer from the following among the elements given below the element with the least electronegativity is dash so if you think about these options the least electronegativity is of lithium carbon boron yeah lithium let's move to the next question fill in the blanks across a period the ionization potential increases boron so sorry not boron down the group electron affinity decreases as you are coming down a group electron affinity decreases the next is choose the correct answer from the options given below in the period um, in the periodic table alkali metals are placed in the dash so you have first second 17 and 18 so alkali metals are in the first section so first group the next is ionization potential over a period from left to right increases over a period from left to right because atomic radius increases and nuclear charge increases no the first one is completely wrong the second is atomic radius decreases and nuclear charge decreases no both of them do not decrease then atomic radius increases no it does not increase it decreases so atomic size decreases and nuclear charge increases that is correct let's move to the next one if an element a belongs to a period 3 and group 2 then it will have dash what will it have you'll have period 3 and group 2 so period 3 and group 2 first is three shells and two valence electrons three shells and two yes that is correct you will have three shells and two valence electrons now next question is an element z has atomic number 16 answer the following questions on z so if some some element has an atomic number 16 the configuration will be i'm sorry about that over here so the configuration will be 2 8 6 now you have to state the period number so period number will be 3 because the number of shells is 3 so your period number is 3 and the group to which z belongs so it six valence electrons that means group will be 16 group will be 16 now the next question is is z a metal or a non metal so if you think about it it is 2 8 6 it can accept three electrons therefore the nature is of gaining electrons that means the answer is non metal Let's move ahead to the next question. Give the number of the group and the period of the element having three shells and three electrons in the valence shell. So, if there are three electrons in the valence shell, that means the group is thirteen. So, group is thirteen. Give the number of group and the period also. Okay, so you need period also. So, for the period, if the, give the number of group and period of the element having three valence three shells. and three electrons in the valence shell so the period will be 3 because it has three shells so period is 3 group is 13 let's move to the next question um 
I hope the question is clearly visible. Very, very important question. These type of questions show up a lot. So pay attention on this one. So they are saying they have given you the group numbers. Um, then they have given you the period, second period you have lithium, O, J, N, E. Now the question is given some notes. They say that in this table H does not represent hydrogen. Some elements are given in their own symbol and position in the periodic table while others are shown with a letter. With the reference to the table, answer the following questions. Identify the most electronegative element. So if you think about it, the most electronegative element will be an element which is at the position of chlorine. So that would be this particular position. So your answer will be J. So let's write that. Uh, I didn't, this one is J. Now the next question says that identify the most reactive element of group 1. So in group 1, the most reactive element will be somebody which is because you have to come down the group. Reactivity increases. So first group R comes down. So as we are coming down in the first group, R is the most reactive element. Now the next question is identify the element from period 3 with least atomic size. So you are on period 3. So first, second, third, you are on period 3. The least atomic size will be of Think about it. Have you tried solving any of the questions? So make sure that you do that. Identify the element from group 3 with least atomic size. So that will be, so you are in group 3. So you are in this group. So which one will be the least atomic size? That will be M. The answer is M. Now the next question says that, how many valence electrons are present in Q? So this is Q. So valence electrons can be identified by the group number. So your group number is 5A. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many electrons will it have? It will have 5 valence electrons. So 5. Which element from group 2 would have the least ionization energy? So group 2. Group 2 is this one. So which one will have the least ionization energy? That will be T. T will have the least ionization energy. The next question is, identify the noble gas of the fourth period. So you are in the fourth, so second, third, fourth. You are in the fourth period, the noble gas will be Y. Now the next question is, uh, in the compound between A and H, what type of bond will be formed and give the molecular formula of the same. So in this case, let's look at uh, A and H. So you have A right here. You have A right here and then you have H. H is right here. So if you think about this, one of them is can gain electron, one of them can donate one electron. So H can actually um, accept two electrons and A can give away one electron. That means you can have ionic bond set up here. And your formula would be since uh, A can donate one electron but B can accept two electrons. Therefore you will be using two of A's two atoms of A. So that will be A2H. Let's move ahead to the next question. Select the correct answer from the choices A, B, C, D which are given. Write only the letter corresponding to the correct answer. The number of electrons present uh, pre electrons present in the valence shell of a halogen is. So halogen, if you think about it, halogens can just accept one electron. That means they would have 7 electrons in the valence shell. So your answer will be 7. Let's move ahead. Metals are good dash. So they are good reducing agents. Because they are electron dash. Because they are electron donors. Now question number 14. Use the letters only in the periodic table given below uh, to answer the questions that follow. So again, these type of questions are very, very important. So let's get started. So the question says that, uh, state the number of valence electrons in atom J. So J is right here. So which group that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So valence electrons will be 5. Now the next question says that, which element shows form, uh, shown forms ions with a single negative charge? That means negative 1. 
okay so which one of them will be showing the negative charge that will be m which metal which metallic element is more reactive than r so r is right here so which one will be more reactive the one below it that means p will be more reactive which uh, metallic element is more that is done which element has its electrons arranged in four shells so which one of that will be arranged in four shells that will be somebody in the period of four so that means t t will have them arranged in four shells fill in this uh, fill in the blanks by selecting the correct word from the bracket if an element has low ionization energy then it is likely to be metallic if an element has seven electrons in its outermost shell then it is likely to have dash atomic size among all the elements in the same period so they are talking about seven electrons in the outermost shell so when you have seven electrons that means the atomic size is small because the nucleus tries to keep all the electrons towards itself therefore the size will be smallest okay guys question number 15 it says that match the column a with column b column a says electronegativity across the period so as we go across the period the electronegativity increases then the second one says non metallic character down the group decreases that means you don't have to mark anything their answers are right in front of them let's move to the next one it says an element has an atomic number 16 so atomic number 16 again you will have 1 2 8 6 the first question says the period to which it belongs it has three shells so period will be 3 uh, the number of valence electrons so this has six valence electrons the next question is whether it is a metal or a non metal since it has six electrons in the outermost shell it can easily accept electrons to get the closest octet therefore it is a non metal the metals of group 2 from top to bottom are beryllium magnesium calcium strontium and uh, barium then which one of these elements will form ions most readily and why so barium uh, will form the ions most readily because it is present at the bottom having the maximum atomic size so when you have the maximum atomic size it is easy to donate electrons or accept electrons so in this case it will be donating electrons and it is easy to convert into ions the next question is state the common feature in the electronic configuration of these elements now the common feature for these elements is that they have two valence electrons each of them let's move to the next question uh, define the following term so i did keep the definitions right with me so that i could read them out to you okay so let me just fix that all right so the first is ionization potential so ionization potential it is the energy required to remove an electron from the outermost shell of an atom in its isolated gaseous state thereby forming a positive ion so this is the definition for ionization potential the next is electron affinity it is the energy released on adding an electron to the outermost shell of an atom in its isolated gaseous state thereby forming an anion okay students so these both definitions are given to you now next question says that define the following and give their trends in the periodic table so ionization potential we just defined and when you have to give the trends you are supposed to mention both of the things separately that means first you'll mention um, going from top to bottom down a group mention the characteristic and the same thing you will do for the period so let's get started with the first one so when we talk about ionization potential and we move down the group the ionization potential decreases and when we move across a period the ionization potential increases the next one is metallic character so the tendency to lose electrons is called the metallic character when we move um, down the group it increases because the atomic size is increasing there is more gap between the nucleus and the outermost electron so it is easy to donate and when we move down uh, across a period it decreases let's move ahead to the next one electron affinity we just discussed the definition 
but when we go down a group electron affinity decreases and when we go across a period it increases let's move to the next question electronegativity so you can write let me give you the definition the tendency of an atom to attract the electron towards its side when combined in a compound is called electronegativity it decreases as we move down the group and it increases as we move from left to right in the periodic table now one thing important for this definition is you can also write it as which has a tendency to pull the shared pair of electrons towards itself that is also a valid answer let's move to the next question the next question says what are the elements of group 1 called so group 1 is called alkali metals the next is name all the elements of group 1 so if you talk about all the elements you can start from hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium name the radioactive element present in group 1 so that would be francium what type of chlorides are formed by the elements of group 1 so it forms ionic chlorides because the group 1 uh, uh, elements have a tendency to lose electrons and can easily make ionic compounds with um, chlorides so chlorines will form ionic chlorides now the next question is arrange the elements of group 1 as per the following so the first is increasing order of number of shells so that would be uh, number of shells will go uh, lithium so lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium then the next is decrease increasing order of atomic size so increasing order of atomic size as you go down the group so um, yeah uh, arrange the elements of group 1 as per the following so the second one will be increasing order of atomic size so of course as you come down the group it increases so the sequence stays the same then the next is decreasing order of ionization potential so even for ionization potential as we come down the group it increases so the sequence stays the same the next question is increasing order of electron affinity the ability to accept electrons so this one goes completely in reverse so for this particular question let me write that so for this particular question uh, you will have francium cesium rubidium potassium sodium lithium this will be your sequence now question number 21 what are the elements of group 17 called they are called halogens name all the elements of group 17 so that will be fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and astatine now the next question is uh, name the most electronegative element in group 17 so the most uh, electronegative one will be chlorine now uh, next is name a greenish yellow colored gas present in group uh, present let me just read that again name a greenish yellow colored gas present in group 17 which is capable of displacing the other two halogens from their salt solutions give equations also so okay so name the greenish yellow ones okay so that will be uh, the answer will be your um, let me read that again name the greenish yellow colored gas present in group 17 which is capable of displacing two other halogens oh so that will be chlorine okay so that will be chlorine and uh, um, capable of displacing two other halogens from their salt solutions okay so let's take an example so uh, you are reacting chlorine gas and you need two examples and it is displacing it so you can have it as uh, with br so 2 br plus uh, chlorine and you can have 2 ki plus chlorine which will give you 2 kcl plus bromine gas and 2 kcl plus iodine gas okay let's move to the next question arrange the acids of group 17 in the increasing of their uh, increasing order of their strength so you will start with hf hcl hbr and hi so uh, this will be answer will be um h f hcl hbr and hi let's move to the next question what are the acids of group 17 elements called either they are known as oxy acids or hydra acids they are known as hydra acids 
Okay, students, let's move to the next question. The next question says that give reasons for the following. So the first one is inert gases have zero valency. So the reason for that is because their octet is complete. Neither are they looking to accept electrons. Neither are they donating electrons. Therefore, their valency is zero. The next question says the atomic size increases as we move down the group. So as we are coming down the group, the number of shells increases. And as the number of shells increases, of course, the atomic size increases. Let's move to the next one. Noble gases have zero electron affinity. So noble gases have zero electron affinity because their octet is complete. They have stable electronic configuration and they cannot accept electrons. Now the next question is, ionization potential increases as we move across the period. So as we move across the period, it is easier to... Um, so as you're going across a period, the atomic size decreases. So it is easier for it to uh, have the ionization potential. Now the next question is, sodium chloride forms ionic bond. Sodium chloride. So that means sodium and chlorine. So that is because sodium is a metallic element and chlorine is a non-metallic element. Sodium can easily donate an electron and be stable. And chlorine can easily accept one electron to be stable. Therefore, they form ionic compounds. Now the next question is, name the elements present in the periodic table which do not undergo any chemical reaction to form compound. Name the group in which these elements are present and give reasons for, their an for your answer. So the answer will be elements like uh, helium, neon and argon. These elements are commonly called as inert gases and are present in group 18. Now these elements are unstable, uh, sorry, the, not unstable, they are unable to go and undergo any chemical reaction as they have 8 electrons in the outermost shell. And that's it. Now the next question is, question 24. The following questions are related with the certain properties of an element X having atomic number 20. Identify the element X. So the atomic number is 20. So first thing you will do is 2882. Write the electronic configuration. Now they are saying identify the element X. So if you think about it, atomic number is 24 chlorine. So that will be element is not chlorine. Uh, the element is calcium. I'm sorry about that. The element is calcium. Give its electronic configuration. Do you write that answer? Is it a metal or a non-metal? So calcium is a metal. How many valence electrons are present in element X? So two valence electrons are present. Now the next question is, In which group and period uh, element X is present? So it would be period 4 and group 14. No, it would be 12, group 12 because you have two valence electrons. So group 12. Actually it should be just group 2, not 12. Because it will lie in the front area, front area of the periodic table. It would be group 2. Let's move to the next question. If this element, uh, is this element greater than magnesium or smaller? So if we think about magnesium, it will be greater than magnesium. Which type, what type of bonding will you expect between element X and oxygen? So between element X and oxygen, what would happen is element X and oxygen. So X, okay, calcium and oxygen. So you'll have an ionic bond. Let's move to the next question, students. Question number 25. Match the following. So the first is electron affinity. So when you look at electron affinity, that is energy released when you are putting in an electron. So the answer will be energy released. Now the next question is ionization energy. So ionization energy will match up with energy required. Now the next is metallic character. That is a tendency to lose electrons. Non-metallic character is tendency to gain electrons. Now what is a group and what is a period? So uh, your group will be vertical columns and your period will be horizontal columns. Let's move to the next question. Fill in the blanks. Atomic size <coughs> uh, fill in the blanks. Atomic size decreases 
as we move across the period as dash remain dash remain same but okay so it decreases as we move across the period as the shells remains the same but the nuclear charge increases so nuclear charge the next question is elements of group 1 are called alkali metals there are 18 groups and 7 periods metals form ionic chlorides metals have low ionization energy and non metals have high electron affinity the properties of elements which reoccur after regular interval are called as periodic properties let's move to the seventh one non metals have dash so we are at seventh non metals have dash electron affinity they have high electron affinity inert gases have dash ionization energy they have the maximum ionization energy the major cause of periodicity is the recurrence of similar electronic configuration lanthan uh, lanthanides are present in dash group and dash period so they are present in 3b group and their period is 6 Okay students let's move ahead to the next question that is question number 7 27 state whether the following statements are true or false so let's start with the first one according to the modern periodic table the periodic properties of an element are the periodic function of their atomic weight so that's false the next one says alkaline earth metals are present in group 2 of the periodic table that is correct now next is oxygen is present in group Five and third period of the periodic table that is false. Sulfur dioxide is more basic than sodium oxide that is also false. Sodium has greater atomic size than chlorine that is true. Let's move to the twenty-eighth question. Each question uh, has four options out of which only one option is correct. write the correct option okay students one important thing is the reason i have included this question this uh, important question sheet is because a lot of students were texting me and asking me to do uh, multiple choice questions so that's the reason i have incorporated a few multiple questions also so, so that you are going through in the practice so let's move ahead to the next question the question says the most metallic element in the respective group is placed at the bottom the elements in the uh, periodic table are placed in the increasing order of their atomic number the valency of alkali metal is plus 1 now the next is aluminium oxide is dash so aluminium oxide is uh, we have acidic oxide they are they are amphoteric oxide The next is the most electronegative element uh, in its respective period is in present in present in dash. So the most electronegative element is present in dash period. So which period is it present in? Uh, it is present in. Let me see. Uh, group one. This is present in group seventeen. The element having maximum atomic size in its respective group is present at the bottom. Next question is which is not correct with reference to the elements of group eighteen. So group eighteen, which one, uh, which is not correct with the reference of elements of group eighteen? Valency is variable. No, valency is the same. Let's move to the next one. That is the eighth one. With reference to hydrogen and chlorine, which statement is correct? So with uh, that would be hydrogen and chloride have same electronegativity. That's wrong. hydrogen is more electronegative than chlorine chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen that is correct c is correct now the next question is if an element has two electrons in its valence shell it is likely to be a metal because if you have just two then it is easy for you to donate them all right students so this is it for today's session In today's session, we have successfully covered about twenty-eight good questions, which are really important for your board examinations. 
if you have any doubts or concerns you are free to reach out to me and i will make sure that i respond back to you so thank you so much i hope you are doing well and preparing well for your board examination we'll catch up in the next session thank you so much